All right, we're back. Um, I decided to do a part two just because I have the equipment out. Um, and I know sometimes people like to see the gear more in depth. So we're gonna review more of the important gear that I carry with me. Um, some of it is me spoiling myself and getting better upgrades. And some of it is pretty essential to my hunting style. So we'll start with climbing sticks here. Um, these are my Hawk Helium climbing sticks. I know I said I modified them. Um, Generally when they come to you, there are suction cups that they have uh, here and up top here. That's for packaging purposes so they don't rattle. I took it off because I found it to be uh, troublesome. You know, the suction cups would make pop sounds when you try to separate the sticks or the uh, threading on these hawk helium sticks where the suction cups come in would get threaded or stripped. Yeah, you would strip out the uh, suction cup. So. Um, that was the reason I took the suction cup off this um, Also, you'll see that I have some black tape on here. This is hockey tape rather than uh, um, Stealth stripping so I got two rolls of hockey tape for about eight dollars. I think uh, Much more affordable than stealth stripping doesn't look quite as good as the camouflage stealth strips But uh, it definitely does the trick. I mean you could take I mean I'm hitting this pretty hard. The other thing I did to them is I removed the strap that comes with it. Um, I didn't like it because it had a metal buckle. I hate metal sounds in the woods. It just it's the number one way to get busted by something on your entry or exit. So um, I made my own strap. It's about six feet long um, and basically it's a Prusik knot um, with a loop and then obviously I have a loop on that side and it works just like your normal strap except for instead of a metal buckle i have a prusik knot that locks into place when i uh, put the stick on the tree so pretty slick ordeal uh, just look up a prusik knot and it'll show you it'll give you a gist of what this is all right next up is the two most important pieces of my equipment here the tether phantom um, I bought that for the 2020 hunting season. Uh, it was my first time ever saddle hunting and I bought it um, after trying out the tethered mantis which was like their first generation of saddles. Um, so basically what I hunted with last season is what you see here. Um, pretty minimalistic with the lineman's belt. I basically tied it up into a big ball and I let it hang off to my side and um, I found that to be a little problematic as sometimes the lineman's belt would come undone as I was walking through the woods. So then I made an upgrade this season and I bought these two saddlebags and they each, they're different um, and they serve different purposes. So this saddlebag here has no internal pockets, um, has two small external pockets, um, maybe a range finder could go in there or like a bow hook or something. Um, but you don't want to put too much in there. But this on the inside has only one main compartment, which is great for ropes because this one will have trouble. It'll give you problems if you have it for this purpose. So I put my ropes in this because there's only one pocket on the inside and it doesn't get um, put in separate pockets. This saddlebag serves as a different purpose um, it has exter both external pockets like this and internal pockets. So this one is, acts more as a tool belt as I go up. So I put my bow rope in there, um, maybe bow hook, some other minor things, maybe extra carabiner. Um, so that's what the purpose of this one is for. And then obviously I have a little carabiner here, like my, uh, my uh, hawk helium sticks. I put the uh, hockey tape on that on this uh, because that's what I hook my platform into. So again, um, I'm removing any metal contact. But there's a lot of great brands out there nowadays. Um, when I purchased this, there weren't too many companies making saddles. So I went with a company that I was able to one test out and uh, Two, I bought their second generation of product, which was slightly upgraded from the Mantis. So that's the reason why I bought this. And then this platform actually kind of is a funny story for me. So last year, um, I hunted with a lone wolf 
climbing seat as my platform. It was great for uh, going into the woods and packing out, but wasn't great once you were up in the tree. It was kind of rocky, very unstable, um, and was it could potentially kick out on you while you're hanging out on the tree. So, because I enjoy living, uh, I I paid uh, $150 to get an upgraded platform and uh, avoid a couple trips to the hospital. So, sold the climber, and I bought this this platform here. Um, as you can see again big fan of the hockey tape so I tried to dead in this EDP platform by trophy line um, with some hockey tape um, when I got it, it kind of acted as a tuning fork I mean you could flick it and it would sound pretty loud um, with the hockey tape I put on there it deadened it pretty good but I, I think I'm gonna put some expandable spray foam in here because this tube is pretty loud and uh, in the event I whack a stick off it or something like that I don't want too much noise being made by this so upgrade for uh, this season I bought it in the spring so far I've used it a little bit just playing around with it and it works pretty well so I bought this because of safety reasons next is my hunting pack um, this was also an upgrade from last season but uh, last season's backpack broke on me um, I had some backpack straps that I would put my platform and climbing sticks on so I could be hands-free as possible. Um, but because that broke, I had to buy something that was a little bit better, a little bit more well-built. So I went with this pack. It had pretty good reviews online. Um, part of the reason I bought this, yeah, I have a, a bigger hunting knife and some extra rope just in case. But um, part of the reason I bought this one is because of this pouch right here. It's an external pouch and um, it, it's great for my platform. It fits lots of platforms. The EDP platform is one of the bigger platforms out there and it has absolutely no problem fitting it in the front pouch. I'm still trying to figure out where to hang the sticks on here because like I said, I like to be hands-free when I'm walking through the woods um, with the exception of holding my bow. But um, it's, it's the Elite Scout Pack by Cabela's and this 1800 stands for 1800 cubic inches of volume. Um, it has these little side straps like this that help you uh, either expand or um, condense the pack down so you can be as big as you need or as small as you need. It's great, it'll, well, I, I shouldn't say it's great. It'll be great for uh, the winter because I can loosen those up and uh, throw a winter coat in here. I mean, you can see there's plenty of room on this. And, these straps down here let me further expand the pack, so um, no no reason you can throw a winter coat in there or something like that. Over here, this is where I keep that headlamp I was talking to you guys about in the first video. My my tax and uh, contact solution. Great little size pouch. Uh, convenient for me if I'm walking in the woods or something. So that's what that's for. Easy access. Well, I don't have to take the whole pack off. Uh, if I'm laying tacks or something. Um, off the side here, I have a little bow hook if I'm hunting uh, private or private land, but for the most part, um, it's public land for me. So, the last piece of gear we're gonna look at and explain the reason why is uh, my Vortex binoculars. So, I used to run 12 by 50 Bushnell binoculars. Um, they're probably eight to ten years old at the time um, they, they currently are they're good the glass quality is great you can see out pretty far with them um, at pretty good and still have pretty good clarity the problem I noticed is when I was in thick cover um, the scrolling wheel kind of prevented me from getting the best picture I could and if you've ever hunted public land you know it's pretty thick and swampy so getting a good picture through um, thick stuff is very important it, and uh, you know the reason I upgraded to this is I could get better picture so I could identify targets sooner and when I say identify targets sooner I might be talking you know 5 to 15 yard difference between what I had and what I have now while looking through thick cover but 
that five to 15 yard difference when I'm looking through thick cover because of the, the scrolling wheel in the picture um, is enough to prevent you from getting a shot off potentially or uh, not getting a shot off. So being prepared, being able to identify uh, a target sooner, that was my reasoning for this. Like I said, I bought it off eBay, used, so um, it's a great way to get used equipment. I'm a huge fan of eBay, especially since there's very little risk to it. Um, the, the, the pack it comes with, I put a compass on the side because your phone isn't a reliable source. This is a mechanical thing. It's rarely ever going to fail you unless you set it by magnets. So um, a, good, a good way to not get lost is have one of these on you at all times. It's gotten me out of situations where my phone has got me into problems. So. I trust this compass with my life, especially since I hunt so many uh, different parts of land. The last thing I'm going to show you guys is my Bushnell aggressor camera. Um, let me get that off here. So you guys can kind of see. This is one of three cameras I, I own. Um, good little camera. It's the iPhone size pretty thick um, I like these models because they put out infrared lights up here so rather than the white lights that the new cameras put out um, this doesn't draw attention to it uh, from the animals um, especially when you hang it up pretty high as you can see I put a little black hockey tape on here yes I'm a huge uh, hockey tape fan for hunting equipment it's awesome um, the reason I put the hockey tape on here is the finish on here is a single color and it's also very very like mm, shiny it's got a gloss finish on here so I wanted to break that up not because animals are gonna see the reflective uh, camera but because other hunters on public land will steal your camera so I, I I don't know about you guys I prefer to keep my equipment to myself um, and I don't like when other people take it so this has worked pretty well for me I put this on public land maybe tw 10 to 15 feet up in the air and nobody has even even looked at cameras even though they've walked past them so that's all I got for you guys today um, a little in-depth explanation on to why I run what I want run um, I prefer using a saddle because like I said I predominantly hunt public lands so um, my entire saddle platform and sticks combination is about mm, 15 pounds tops probably closer to 12 and uh, if you were hunting with a like a climber or a uh, hang on tree stand you might be looking at closer to 20 pounds eight pounds doesn't sound like that much weight it's a huge difference though when you're walking a mile to two miles like I am. Um, another reason I like a saddle is it gives me a lot of flexibility. Uh, I can get into a ton of different trees, um, even trees you can't get into with a tree stand. So obviously I'm an advocate for saddles. Uh, just because I like saddles does mean it's right for everybody. Do what's best for you. If you like a hang on stand, get a hang on stand. If you like a climber, get that. Just whatever you're comfortable with that's how you should go so have a good night guys and get ready for the season